Alright folks, welcome back to the Dawn's channel. I am the Dawn Father and I'm about to do a reaction for a patron of ours, Maxine Trisclair. Thanks very much Maxine for the support and the request. This one's a soldier's last letter from Ernest Tubbs. Not a singer I'm familiar with, of course. He's an older singer now from yesteryear. Um, but really looking forward to it. Classics are timeless uh, and I do appreciate uh, I appreciate a lot of older music, uh, and I do like to listen to the words, so this one should be a treat for us all. Uh, the link to the original video then is in the description section below, as always. So is our Patreon account if you like a personalised video request and shout out like Maxine has, just check that out, or simply join the channel as a member and get your requests through that way. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share, and put the bell on. Thank you very much. Anyway. No more talking. Let's go. When the postman delivered a letter, it filled her dear heart full of joy But she didn't know Till she read the inside It was the last one from her darling boy Dear Mom was the way that it started I miss you so much, it went on Mom, I didn't know that I loved you so But I'll prove it when this war is won I'm writing this down in a trench, Mom don't scold if it isn't so neat You know as you did When I was a kid And I'd come home with mud on my feet The captain just gave us our orders and mom, we will carry them through I'll finish this letter The first chance I get But now I'll just say I love you Then the mother's old hands began to tremble and she fought against tears in her eyes But they came unashamed For there was no name And she knew that her darling had died That night as she knelt by her bedside she prayed, Lord above, hear my plea And protect all the sons that are fighting tonight And dear God, keep America free Well, one of many letters similar to parents, wives, daughters, sons, whoever, um, a soldier's last letter, all too real a situation, particularly in the Great Wars, the First and Second World War. Uh, it's never what you want to see, of course, today. 
you get that knock at the door, don't you? And there's people, maybe Marines, maybe soldiers standing at your door to deliver that news that your son or daughter or husband or wife aren't coming home. Um, at least uh, not the way they went, you know. Um, so it's a sad, it's a sad song actually, and it actually reminds me of singers my grandfather used to listen to. You can tell it's old because of the way they sing and the music that's played, the way they play the music in it. But it doesn't mean that the words are aren't any letter aren't any effect as effective as. Um, a more modern song, trying to sing the same sort of lyrics, same sort of message, but it's one of those ones where you, you're, you're hearing her message in it, where she's saying, not only she lost her son, but she's actually praying for all the other young men that were out there fighting, that nobody else uh, has to get these letters and also prayed to keep America free because the uncertainty of those two wars were it was just incredible, wasn't it? Uh, but short and sweet song, but delivered the message. It was all too real, still all too real at times as well, but maybe just not the same volume of letters, not the same volume of people dying anymore, but it's definitely something uh, that no parent wants have to receive is that last letter or that knock at the door it's the wrong order isn't it it's the wrong order if you're a parent and um, have three children but if you're a parent you don't ever want to have to think about that it should be the other way around your children bury you they're attending your funeral you're not attending theirs so i can't imagine what that would be like and it is it's it's bittersweet in a way because you're very proud of them going there and defending your freedom, your liberties uh, that you have, to, well, so they could have their civil liberties that they had um, and continuously have them. Um, so you're proud that your family member, your son, your husband, whoever it was, um, was going out there risking their lives to keep you free. But you're also devastated and sad because you'll never see them again. Um, so really, tip. It's something that's close to my heart as well. I don't, I don't shy away from the fact that uh, it's upsetting, and I don't want to stop uh, promoting what soldiers are doing and what veterans are having to uh, endure today because I've got my health, I came home safe, I've got my health, yes I've had difficulties, but I've got my health now, I think my life's on track, but for others there isn't, so I'm conscious of that, and uh, I feel that as long as I am able to kind of show my support or gratitude on this platform, on this channel, I will continuously do that. So, just want to leave it, leave it with that last message there on it. But thanks very much, Maxine. Um, it's never a nice uh, thing to to happen, um, and it's never a nice thing to receive that letter from home. But of course, Maxine's obviously been following the channel. And she'll see the theme of a lot of the videos that I'm reacting to, and it was a perfect choice in some ways. And of course, it might strike a chord with a lot of the viewers whose family members passed away, or as the, the message that I was saying at the end there, maybe they've they not came home the same way. Um, they're all, yes, they're living, but they're they're mentally still fighting that battle um, that they fought wherever they were deployed. Uh, and that's it. That's, that's just the way it is, isn't it? Um, well, thanks very much anyway, Maxine, for the request. It's greatly appreciated. The link to the original video, as always, will be in the description section below, as will our Patreon account. If you like a personalised video request and shout out, please check that out. And, um, or join, sorry. The channel and get your requests through that way don't forget to subscribe like comment and share and put the bell on thanks very much for watching everyone i am the dawn father i'll see you all soon
Goodbye.